If you create something that nobody can copy because you fill it with such a huge quantity of details that are almost impossible to detect, to catch, you create something eternal and you got a place in history. There's a Beatles guitar part, or better, a part played by a Beatle, that perfectly embodies how complex is the Beatles' simplicity. Now, you won't believe how many things you have to take care of for reproducing this part correctly as you heard it on the record. And I'm sure 100% that along this trip that we will make together, you will kind of three or four times say, no, it's impossible, I can't believe I never noticed that. The guitar that we are going to use is a Martin D28. This guitar is a solid part of the Beatles history. Both John and Paul bought one in 1968, and since then they used the D28 in a lot of historical recording, including uh, Blackbird, uh, Mother Nature Sound, Julia, and many others. In this case, in Molofkin type, Paul is using the same guitar that he had with the Beatles. So this is a right hand guitar that he turned left. The sound is very full and bright. <laughs> So this is a simple A chord, okay, strum this way. You can use both A chord figures, the one with the ring finger on the second string or the one with the pinky finger on the second string. To get the same sound of introduction, you have to pluck the A string at the beginning of strumming exactly in a specific point of the string which is exactly here when you see that the sound hole rosette is ending the outer round okay you have to pluck it exactly here because if you do that this is the sound that you have exactly the sound that you have on the record if you move that one just a little bit toward the bridge you have a more of a honky and uh, less powerful tone. If you move it too much toward the sound hole, you have a too much of a muddy sound. So the sound of the record was choose by Paul exactly to sound like this, in exactly this part. Another reason why you should pluck these strings here concerns the, the, the way the, the strings vibrate on an, on an acoustic guitar, which is kind of a long story. But in short words, by plucking it here, you avoid buzzing in a way. And the way Paul plucks it very softly, okay, also helps avoiding buzz. Let's go through the second mystery contained in the introduction of Mall of Kintai. So when Paul McCartney recorded this song, he strummed the first four string in a different way the two times that he does that. So the first time he mainly hits the second, third and fourth strings. The second time he mainly hits the first, the second and the third string, like this. I'm sure you didn't notice that, but listen to the original. So this is... It's curious, isn't it? This is the first thing that I notice and that make me uh, want to uh, go deeper, dig deeper into this introduction. And this is where I discovered all this uh, stuff, you know. The other thing is even more incredible uh, to notice uh, is that when the hand goes and plucks the A string again, just a 
few milliseconds before he hits the A string again, with this finger, the ring finger of his plucking hand, Paul mutes the high E string. So he lets it ring until the very last moment, and then when he go back and plucks the A, he mutes this one. that even performing these last two things that I uh, show you now is very hard. It needs a lot of practice, a lot of practice. So for those of you who reached until here, I would like this video to be some kind of inspiration to watch and listen to the music of the Beatles with more respect and uh, in a deeper way, because the greatness of this music is, are the details it is crafted with. And this requires a lot of attention, it's not a matter of tabs, it's not a matter of notation. These are the ideas hidden into the song, purposely hidden into the songs that uh, contribute to make these songs uh, uncopyable, so eternal. Please leave me your comments below, uh, we reply to them and I'm very curious to know what you think about this. Uh, guitar part and what's hidden in it. There is a notification bell to be hidden if you want to know when more videos are out. And please support the channel, this is very important, so I can make more of this video for you, unveil more Beatles guitar parts for you. And see you next time, I think we will be with a Band of the Round vocal harmony video. Ciao!